Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I thought we'd do something a little bit different because we are coming up actually to my two year anniversary on this channel where I first posted my first ever video. So I thought, you know what, for the month of June, we'll do a little bit of looking back of what I've done over the past two years. That's the best way I could describe it. That's the best way to describe this new small little series that I'm gonna do. So I thought to start off the series, we will go and visit some of my older islands. And that's what we're gonna do today. Today my plans are to go and visit my some of my older islands just see what I think of them now see what I would change on them now and basically just remember remember the whole two years that I've been doing this channel and remember this game and be thankful for it because this game is means so much to me like love this game I, I really do first things first before we get started don't forget to like comment and subscribe come join the jelly bean family now let's get into today's video okay so here we are on my first island now this island i didn't actually build on my channel this is an island i had set before i started my channel and i just wanted to share it with you because i feel like this was the start of the journey you know now i did previously have another island that i built before this one which was a kid core island my first dream address but unfortunately i knocked that one down to build this one on top because i didn't restart so this is what's here so this is what we're going to be exploring today now this island is my jungle core island it's called jelly Bean. So I call it Jelly Bean Jungle. And Jelly Bean Jungle actually has loads of different like viewing areas like this with dinosaurs. So I view some of the fossils. Like I said, this was an island I built before I started my channel, but I think this is what kind of prompted me and inspired me to actually start recording my builds and putting them on the internet. Because it was after this one, the next island I did after this was my channel island, my first ever island that I built on my channel so that's absolutely crazy but as you can see we actually decorated the beaches back then amazing so this was lily's house here actually first of all i should probably show you the map for this island so here is jelly bean jungle there's lots of like little random dots on the map as you can see and this is just where the coconut trees are planted but i have actually got four houses four resident houses on this island which we probably won't look through today because it's quite a lot otherwise but we literally have four of those then i have kiki who is one of my absolute favorite villagers of all time next to boots we have Rowan, we have Lyman, we have Alfonso, Audi, Henry, June, Tucker, Flora, and Lily. These are so cute, actually. I, I think without choosing Kiki is my favorite villager in this lineup. My favorite has to be Alfonso. <laughs> right, so yeah, we're gonna do a quick little look around of this island today. So I got a little juice bar here. But I just want to talk about my overall, what I was going for for this island. So I wanted to go for a jungle, but make it tropical resort-esque style, I guess. I don't know. It doesn't really feel like a resort, to be honest. I think I was just going for tropical and jungle core at the same time. <laughs> I guess that's what I wanted. And I think by adding all these little bits of colours, as you can see, the, the flowers are very, very mixed and colourful. And also there's a lot of like mixed coloured items around. Very, very colourful, very kid core-ish in a way. And I think that's what I was trying to do at first. So I think I was trying to implement kid core into this island by adding all these like colourful signs and things like that, but also making it feel like a really full jungle with dinosaurs. Now we found the campsite along my beach and actually I'm being inspired right now. I'm Am I inspiring myself to decorate my beaches? Oh my gosh. <gasps> Wait a second. Stop. No way. Oh my goodness. My cat is on my mug. <laughs> oh, I love it. But yeah, so this was my, technically my second dream address that I saved. I really wish I still had my first one and that I just restarted, but that was back when the game had been out, maybe what, six months, maybe, maybe a bit more. And so I kind of didn't know that restarting was a thing, but I do know there is a video out there on YouTube of someone touring my island. So hopefully I can find that for you and that could be a fun experience for us all to watch together. Unfortunately for this island here, I do not have any of the codes. So if you see any of the codes you like, I might've used them in future islands, but unfortunately, Unfortunately, I don't have the codes for them now. So yeah, I apologize for that. Right, this first house I know belongs to one of my residents. That's the scientist. So if you go in there, it'd be kind of like a science area, a, a research center almost. Uh, down on the beach, I know I decorated the beaches. Here we have like a little dancing area. And this must have been when the festival stuff came out, not long after that. Because we all decorated our beaches like this. We all had these little dance areas with all the festival furniture. I remember that. It was such a good time. Oh, and also, 
we had this moment where we all used these picture standees. We were all starting to use these. This was before we started making things like the buses and stuff and the vans out of them. This was before all that. So this is before we made houses with them as well. Okay, this beach is very busy today. Hi, Rowan. Hi, Tucker. Oh my gosh, I remember this little juice bar I made. It was so cute. Oh my gosh, it's such a bright color as well. I love all the bright colour flowers, actually. They look really pretty. I must have used every single type of flower, I swear, because I've, I've literally seen every single flower on this island so far. Here's Nook's Cranny, and I feel like you don't even have a Nook's Cranny on your island unless there's boxes next to it. Like, is your Nook's Cranny even real? On this beach down here, we have a bit more of a simpler design, so we kind of just put a little campfire here. Also, I love all my mixed match of colours. I kind of love it. Oh, and I love this. Just walking along the beach and finding even more picture standees. Perfect. Over here, we have a another house and this is more of my resort house so it's kind of like a little resort shop in there now the decoration was very simple we just popped down some festival items we love that by the way i love that i just find random items on the beach like i don't know why this is here i'm guessing it's the obsession of me putting taps and sinks and little washing areas on the beach i don't know what it is but i always put a place on my beach for you to wash all the sand off your feet okay so up this incline we will find a royal sisters and look how like full this looks looks this must have taken me so long to do i can't even remember why have i decorated back there you can't get back there there was no point in that you should have just left them with the barrels <laughs> okay over here oh we got some pretty terraforming going on and we love the giant bug models i know i use those quite a lot on this island so you'll see those around everywhere also so proud of myself for stunting trees because nowadays i don't do that because i forget here we have audie's house back behind audie's we have oh my gosh does everyone remember the pie pie everyone was obsessed with the pie pie because that's the only pie we had and now look at us we got loads of food okay so i can see there's a big t-rex model over there it looks kind of cool he's kind of like running to the edge of the cliff so he's probably just gonna go plop into the water but i can see i tried to do like picturesque areas i guess you could call them where you can just stand take a picture and be like hey <laughs> but yeah i feel like that's what i was doing on this island i really wanted to have areas for you to just stop and take photos right so this way back down here leads towards the scientist's house so if you carry on it will take you back to that area i love how i've got all these little toy dinosaurs everywhere just kind of to give the idea that this is a jungle with dinosaurs over here we got another viewing area and it's just resident services there on the right as you can see but we're gonna carry on through here oh look over here was my little market i seem to have started a new obsession with markets i've actually built a market on my extreme island carrot and i've also built a market on my island uh, daisy chain i was gonna call it primrose that's my old island <laughs> another little view area but you can see the bridge and the waterfall this time over there there we can actually go over this bridge which i'm gonna do right now because i know who lives down here eventually get our way through we actually come to kiki's house oh my gosh this was the days when we didn't have the customization for the exterior of the houses oh my gosh we just had to make do with what the villagers outer house looks so if it didn't work and fit the theme tough <laughs> tough if you wanted that villager we head down this incline this takes us to another house wait a second was that me hello me i'm the jelly bean inspector of course of course you are here is alfonso's house alfonso his house kind of looks the same as kiki's actually but his house is very overgrown i love how everything is just tucked behind trees like i use so many trees it's crazy right here is the museum we got a lovely big bug model outside also i feel like we all use these standees like all of us use these standees outside the museum if you did let me know in the comments down below <laughs> confess there's a little fossil digging area here as well that's kind of cute i probably now would have added some more items to this maybe like a table maybe a bench put some more fossils around you know just add a bit more i do not know what this area is back here what is this this is kind of like a little rock pool area but these fish would definitely not be a rock pool i feel like i would have been better off using the crabs like the spider crabs or something very strange little area but i love it another random picture sandy <laughs> oh my gosh i love finding these along the beach right just carried on down the beach because i knew i'd find a dinosaur somewhere or this big monster statue i think it's called i don't remember his favorite game name but obviously this is the mummy dinosaur and these are all the little babies oh and another picture standy but this time this one's more relevant because some of these i don't know why they're here but they are and i kind of love this this is cute we're back at alfonso's yard now because for some weird reason he has this arcade machine i don't know which arcade machine it is because i can't tell by the angle of this game i could easily use a camera but i don't want to so yeah he has this which is random and also remember when we had only these foods to use we literally had whatever this was which i think is some sort of salad i don't know and then we also had this which i think is a bowl of olives back across this bridge we go i forgot to pan up though there's 
Stonehenge up there. Just casually chilling, just rocking out this waterfall. I'm sorry, that was a terrible joke. Right, anyway, carry on the tour. Let's go this way. This is Lyman's house. He obviously wasn't a favorite of mine because he has the tiniest yard. Look at it, so small. I actually like Lyman though. Over here we have June. So June had lots of pink things and shell things. Very cute. I like her area. Up here we go left. We get another view area. This is probably one of my favorite viewing areas in this island. Or on this island rather. Because look, it's just a big dinosaur hung hiding in the jungle. I think we can actually go down there to be honest. Let's go. Yeah, look, look all these little toy dinosaurs. Oh my gosh, I love these. <laughs> That's so funny. Right, through here we actually can squeeze through, which actually is relatively easy, I'm surprised. And this is Red's Beach, so we have the wanted sign, of course. I feel like we've all had a wanted sign on Red's Beach at some point, or we still do, because it's just iconic now at this point. It's iconic. Heading back up this way, we get to Rowan's house. Oh, there's our scientist. So this is Rowan's house. I don't know why I kind of gave him a bamboo-looking area. Also, don't know why there's some shoes here, but there is. So yeah, he ended up with that. I guess I thought to myself that his house was very green, so it would go with a green bamboo. I don't know. Don't know what the thought process was. This is also another house that we have here. I know this is in themed inside. I know it's like a restaurant or something. It's like a Japanese restaurant. Do not know why I did that doesn't really fit in with the theme we were going for here but i guess we just wanted a japanese area i guess <laughs> i don't really know right, let's carry on through here oh i love this bit it feels so overgrown and so green and green is my favorite color so we got a lovely little viewing area again of course must have taken me so long because look at it look at all those trees and bushes and those flowers how long did this actually take me i i want to know i want to remember oh we got a land bridge let's go across this land bridge and we actually get to my house what a cute land bridge though wait this this is adorable i need a better angle wait a second look at this land bridge oh my gosh wait let's try from the other side okay i'm obsessed I'm obsessed with this. I need to make another land bridge like this with the uh, Festival Garland and this adorable code, which I wish I still had the code for. <laughs> but yeah, there is my house. So here is Tucker's house and he's got a little clay making area, which is kind of cute. And uh, we carry on, we get to another bridge. So this bridge actually is a diagonal bridge. It takes you over to Flora's house. As you can tell, there's lots of pink things. She has a cute little table to stop and have some tea and we can carry on. This leads us to a bridge, which this this actually frustrates me. Why did I not bother to put this in the middle? I feel like nowadays I would make sure this is in the middle so that the head was kind of central in a way. I don't know. So back over this way actually leads you to the market. So I think I'm going to head back to Flora's house and go down towards resident services. So down the stairs we go. This actually leads us to resident services. Another cute dinosaur. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'd love to do a dino count. That'd be kind of funny. Oh, so yeah, that was the end of this jungle tour. It's actually really cute. I like all the flowers and all the colors and everything. I think definitely if I was going to do jungle core next time, I would add more than just trees and flowers. Just add more areas, you know? Fill it with different stuff because I feel like I probably got really burnt out doing this. I feel like I would nowadays anyway. Anyway, I will see you on my next island. Okay, here we are on the next island. So this is my first ever island that I did YouTube videos on. Yeah, this is this is a special one to me. Right, I'm gonna make my way to the entrance though. So yeah, this is a special island to me because this was the first island that I did YouTube videos on. My first completed YouTube island, I'm so happy. Right, but first of all, let's check the map, let's go. So here's the map, this island is of course as well called Jellybean because for some reason I named my first five or four dream addresses Jellybean for some weird reason, even though I restarted them. We only have two residents. We also have Henry, Dizzy, Willow, Mira, Biscuit, Chelsea, Peanut, Scoot, Vladimir, and Mitzi. Now, I have to choose a favorite like I always do. It's really difficult because I like a lot of these, like a lot. I think I'm thinking of Mitzi though. I think I do. I think Mitzi is the one here. She's just a cat villager. She's so cute, but I also really love Biscuit. Right, also, I will pop the dream addresses in the description for anyone who wants to visit on their own after we've done this tour. Of course, straight off the bat i can see it it's the robot hero oh my gosh i love the robot hero so much i use it on pretty much all my kid court islands because like why wouldn't you why why wouldn't you use the robot hero right we're gonna go take a left first so this was kind of like a building i did this is probably one of the biggest fake buildings i've ever done at this point in my animal crossing building life it came out cute it's very cute 
I feel like some of the items are very random that I've used on this island so far, but that's okay. Don't forget, we were limited back then. This is before 2.0. This is literally, oh look, as we got new bunny day stuff. So this would have been around April, after April 2021. I'm thinking, but yeah, this is cute. I even decorated my beaches back then. So, you know, what? what's the excuse now? <laughs> There's a little Cosmo shower area, because why not? We'll turn those off though, so we don't waste water. Heading to the left side. I love all these codes, by the way. They're so fun. I'm actually using some of these on my island carrot at the moment. And then we're by Crystal Cat. Like the last island, I don't have all these codes, unfortunately. I really don't. I was new to YouTube, didn't write down all my codes. So please forgive me. But I know a lot of these you can find on Pinterest, and a lot of these are made by crystal cat if i'm being honest on the beach yeah look at the beaches oh my goodness oh look there's me hello hello me okay that's not my instagram name anymore i kind of changed it to my actual youtube name right here we got a cute little campsite i feel like i had this on my last island as well that's kind of funny this picnic is very cute minimal decoration but that's okay it's fine. There's a ball. At least there is something. This is actually such a random area. I don't even know what this is about. I don't know why I built this, but this is like so mismatched. Like none of it works. Like why are these barrels here with this barrel and these bags? Like everything just looks so off. But I think this is meant to be my more industrial area on this island. So hence why we have like portaloos, oil barrels, all this sort of stuff, but also toy stalls. Yeah, I don't know what that was about. This is a villager house. So it's our first villager of the day. This is Vladimir. Now, I know I didn't really decorate the beaches behind his house. I think there's just this chair and that's it. Right, let's carry on down. But yeah, this kind of looks like a building site to me. It looks like an industrial building site. Oh, well. <laughs> you know, you've got to have one of those weird areas on your island, I suppose. We're going to go up here now. And I love that we use the car beds. Oh, my gosh. We now have proper cars, though. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. Actually, I take that back. This is probably my biggest building that I did today on this. Oh, my gosh. That gnome. <laughs> Why is it in my way? Please. We're trying to see the building. Anyway, here is my... <laughs> I can't. It's so funny. Here's my fake building I did. The funny thing is with that gnome up there is I actually made this little area. Can you can you see? Can you kind of see it? I made this area so that you were able to get up there to get a better view of this. I made a mistake. I didn't leave a ladder. And this is before we could have the ladders stuck to the wall. So yeah, I did that. So you can't get up there. No one can ever get up there ever again. Also, this island is lagging so much. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to carry on to the right side here. I want to go check out the beaches because I know I decorated them. So for the beaches here, we just obviously chucked down a whole bunch of codes because we didn't know what we were doing. So codes and flowers. We love that. Oh, and little Blavers has this cute area. Oh my gosh, I like this. Obviously a giant bug, which is Blavers' favorite. As we all know, he loves bugs. But we got a little research table for him here. And actually, while we're here, we'll just check out the museum. So yeah, here's the museum. Oh, I like this little train I've got going across. Cross. I mean, that's kind of cute. And see, see, I told you. Do you even have a museum with blavers without using the dinosaur standee? No. Okay, <laughs> you do not. Across this bridge is... Okay, the most random area probably on this island. I don't know what this area is meant to be. I don't know what it is. I'm guessing it's just fruit. A celebration of all things fruit. I don't know. I... <laughs> I don't. I don't know why there's a kissing booth. That's for sure. Like Hershey's kiss. I, I, is that what it's for? The most random part is this. This is an orchard. I'm guessing. I'm guessing I was making an orchard, and it's just the most random thing I've ever seen in my life. I clearly had space to fill and didn't know what to fill it with, so I just chugged down some trees, a, a load of trees. But there is this cute little area on the beach here next to it, so that kind of makes up for it. I wish I'd put in more beach effort, but I just don't like decorating the beaches. Sometimes I really don't. So we're gonna head back past the museum because I want to check out this little park area that I made. This is actually probably one of my favorite areas on this island. It came out so cute. Look at it. So colorful, so fun. We got a little ice cream truck and see what I mean? We used to make these ice cream trucks and that with um the standees. And wait, is that lollipop? Look at those little lollipops. Oh my gosh. I forgot we used to use the fans for those. Do you know what? To be honest, I forget about the fans. I feel like I could use the fans for stuff and I don't because I forget about them. But it was a little birthday area. Also, I really love that chain fence code that I've got in the simple panels back there. But you can have a picnic here, a birthday party, whatever you're feeling. Oh, there's also this little bike area. Oh my gosh, that's kind of cute. Right, I know what's up here. This is a rainbow flower field. Of course it is. Because would any kid 
Cape Cod Island be complete these days without a big old rainbow flower field? We're gonna head over this bridge first because I know there's a little park here. So we've got a little park. Oh my gosh, Mitzi's here. Oh my gosh, I miss her so much. She's so cute. I love all the little springy ride-ons. Also, I love this, this teddy bear. He just kind of guards the neighborhood for everyone. He's like the teddy bear security or <laughs> something like that. So here is Mitzi's house. By the way, I love this code that I used on the floor. It makes it look like it's cardboard fake grass. That's exactly what it's meant to be. I think it just adds a bit more fun, a bit more cartoony vibes to this whole area, you know? Just It just does. And this train track actually goes around the whole neighborhood. Oh my gosh, we're not going to follow it because I don't want to miss out the houses on the left side. Here is Mira's house. So we've given Mira kind of a more like comic book looking uh, house yard, I guess. Also, look, a train. Oh my gosh, I remember inviting my friends over and we all used to sit on the little train that I made. It's just so stinking cute. Oh my gosh, I love it. I, I need to build a train area on my kid core farm core island. I have to. Here is Peanut's house and now Peanut had a plant shop, I believe. I believe that's what I was going for. Before we carry on up there, I just want to show you, we used to use these umbrellas as the little blocks and now you can actually use the cube light as like little blocks with alphabet letters on. So that's kind of cute. Oh, I remember this. So this was Teddy Bear Island. So there was a little teddy bear picnic over there with the mushrooms. And I wish I could get over there because it's such a cute area. Can you imagine sitting there with the little teddy bears? It'd be so cute. Oh, and of course, the staple kid core thing you need to do. So if you're doing kid core and you haven't done this yet, you need to. You need a puddle code and you need to put some rain boots in it. I don't know why, it's just the law. Over this way we go. So this is Willow's house. Willow is our little seamstress. She makes clothes for everyone on the island makes cushions whatever you want plushies as well i guess but this is adorable actually i love the layout of this also nowadays i feel like i forget that you don't have to be able to have access to everywhere for it to look adorable it's okay if i can't get over there tough <laughs> Up, I have to deal with that. There's a little walkway here, which actually you can see there's a big gap. I don't know why I did this gap. Honestly, don't because it's just a gap full of mushrooms and there's literally my house right over there. So I don't know why I did that pass. <laughs> over here is Chelsea's cakes. She's got obviously got a little cake shop, which is cute. And then next to Chelsea, we have Biscuits Yard. This is very fun, very colorful. I love the little pool. Like the little the little pool kind of completes it, you know? It's very cute. And of course, no Kid Court Island is complete without the rainbow bridge. So across we go. And then down here is actually Dizzy's house. His yard is feeling very, very blue because if you don't know, Dizzy is a blue elephant. So that's probably why I use a lot of blue here. You can actually get on his beach. Oh wow, this is a very mismatched beach. I don't know what I was thinking here. None of this really works. <laughs> It really doesn't. This doesn't work and nor does this. I don't know. More blue stuff for Dizzy back here. But I'm going to actually walk up to my house now. So we're on our way to my house. And I just love all these standy furniture. Like like I said to you before, if you're not using standy furniture on your Kitco Islands, you need to because it's too perfect. So here is my house. And yeah, we'll, we'll do a separate video where we explore interiors later on. We'll do that later on this month but another robot hero oh my gosh look at this okay now we're gonna get to the most random area though before we stop looking at this cute blanket coat i have on the floor oh my gosh i need that i need that now for my island carrot but let's go down here to the most random area on this island don't know what I was thinking don't know what was going through my mind process but this is the other resident's house and it kind of is like a beach but also kind of like a coastal town i don't know i don't know what i was thinking even red's beach is so random i, I don't know i mean i kind of love this washing line with the fan don't know why those two items look cute together but they do but there's surfboards <laughs> Yeah, there's there's just i remember the house the house is decorated to be like coastal and i don't know why i did that on a, a kid core island who knows by the way love that i could probably go down this slide and just go splosh into the water that makes me happy okay so here is another random area on this island this is henry's yard but for some reason or other i've made it so that you can get to most parts of it but it's kind of like a swamp i don't know i don't know what i was going for here it kind of is giving me bamboo swamp vibes don't know why that is I don't know if I like it. I don't know. It's it's just too random. <laughs> I think it's way too random. Of course, we have another rainbow bridge, and I love how those mushroom what do you call these mushroom parasols look. How they look down there is very cute. And this bridge with the little star frags, I'm obsessed. That actually leads to the campsite, of course. The little camping area, giant bear, of course, standard for our kid core campsite. 
great and this very very random decoration around this little bit of pond <laughs> don't know what that's about here we have little kids tents because i feel like anyone who's doing a campsite even if you're doing a campsite now and it's not a kid core island you still use the kids tents let's be honest you need to confess that one as well okay confess down below do you use the kids tents for your campsite still because i do here's a little trash area and i believe this is actually leading us to scoots yard so yeah this is scoots yard here's his own little football pitch area which is cute i feel like building a football pitch area on a kid court island is definitely a must do as well he's got loads of sporty things outside because he's actually a jock villager but i think i went overboard and was just like hey let's just pile everything in this small section that's to do with sports here's a little view area of henry's yard or swamp i guess don't know why this is a thing i don't know I, I don't know it's just so random going over this bridge we got a, a table tennis some strange reason but this actually leads you over to nook's cranny this is actually probably another one of my favorite areas on this island i love how this build came out i actually built it in a video on my channel i mean you can go back and watch it if you like but be minded be prepared this was when i first started but yeah this came out very very cute adorable we love it and also it leads on to able sisters so able sisters is here which also leads on to a market this is a very colorful and very random market but obviously this is before 2.0 we didn't have all the cute food items and all the cute stuff that we have now we had to kind of make do with what we got and if we bear that in mind i'm actually quite happy with how this looks this this whole island in fact i'm happy with how it looks because i feel like it meets it meets the goals i was going for it is kid cool it is colorful it looks like someone's just thrown a bag of colorfulness everywhere <laughs> like just a load of paint and just chucked it everywhere but yeah there we have it we've looked at two of my islands today now i do have a load more islands that we can look at we're even actually gonna look at some of the islands I didn't release. Now we'll have to do that by looking at some older videos, but I think that'd be kind of fun to just recap these in like an extra video a week or something. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's little recap video of what I did when I first started my channel and before I started my channel. And as always, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Come join the Jelly Bean family. I hope you have the loveliest of days and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.